everyone, this is James from the ActiveRetro.com with another Active Retro Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Ghost Trap playset from the Ghostbusters 2016 toy line by Mattel. Like the new Ecto-1 toy, the Ghost Trap comes in an open face packaging that's adorned with the familiar logo and slime that is present on all of the 2016 movie toys. The Ghost Trap is packaged in an open position and it's designed to look like the Subway Ghost minifigure is being sucked into it. If this is how the trap actually functions in the movie, I don't know, but from a packaging aesthetic and first impression appeal, it looks neat. Along the bottom lip of the packaging, the two-in-one gimmick is promoted, featuring a photo of all four Ghostbusters and the Ghost standing in the open playset. The back of the packaging is simple. Dead center is the same open playset photo from the front of the package, just enlarged. Some of the different play features and aspects of the toy are also highlighted, but we'll go over those in a second. The Ghost Trap playset comes with a set of instructions that are fairly detailed, going over the various methods of play for the toy and providing plenty of safety warnings as well. The front of the manual simply shows the contents of the set, the trap, and the ghost. The inside of the instructions goes over both ways the toy is intended to be played with. Option 1 is to open up the trap and have the Ecto minifigures interact within the subway scene. It also reviews how to use the secret compartment figure to hide ghosts or ghostbusters. Option 2 gives you the option of using the ghost trap as either a carrying case or uh, how to close it and display it as a ghost trap. Let's take a look at the toy in its ghost trap mode first. The trap is approximately 8 inches long and approximately 2.5 inches wide. Cast in gray plastic, the only color comes from the yellow handle and the caution color stickers on each side. There is a lot of small mechanical details on the toy, but they're just not painted. To open up the trap, you need to grab each half and then lift up and pull outward at the same time. Lay the trap on its side and then fold out each segment at its hinge. Fully open, the subway scene is now close to 15 inches long. The inside of the walls are detailed in a subway tile pattern, and you do have a no-ghost logo dead center of the scene. The logo and subway tunnel graphic to the right of it are stickers but there are no additional paint applications anywhere on the inside of the ghost trap. On one side of the playset is a large chunk of orange plastic. This has some small details and an exit sign sculpted into it. Spinning this door around reveals a hidden compartment, the perfect hiding spot for a ghost. This playset does come with an exclusive glow-in-the-dark Ecto minifigure, the Subway Ghost. I can't say I know what the official name of this character is, but Subway Ghost seems to be the leading contender. Like the other Ghost Ecto minifigures, this one is cast in translucent plastic with a glow-in-the-dark core. He stands at just about one and a half inches tall and has no articulation. Going back to the secret compartment, it can fit the Ghostbusters quite easily. Larger ghosts such as the Terror Dogs or Slimer are just too big. To be fair, the instructions did state that not all figures would fit. To turn the playset back into a ghost trap and or carrying case is pretty simple. Simply flip the set onto its back and fold each side in. Place your figures in the belly of the trap and then close each half. For a $10 toy, I think the ghost trap playset has a lot of play value for both kids and adults. It's a great way to either display or store your growing collection of Ecto minifigures, and with a lick of paint, it would look great on a shelf as a display piece as well. This has been an active retro review of the Ghostbusters 2016 Ghost Trap playset. I have a few more Ghostbuster items to go through, but until then you can check out my previous reviews in the channel playlist. Be sure to follow us on social media, links below in the description, or check out theactiveretro.com for lots of interesting articles on the nerdy and retro. Thanks for watching.